Hello YouTube, it's Strunkmonk74 here and I'm bringing you my second video of Insurgency and uh, this time around I'm playing a game mode called VIP and uh, unfortunately for me and for everyone involved I am the VIP uh, I say unfortunately because um, this game mode and in particular playing the goddamn VIP really does not suit my gameplay at all um, there are a number of reasons for that. Um, firstly, if you're not familiar with VIP, it's very simple. If um, if you're the team with the VIP uh, in in your ranks, all you got to do is there are two extraction points on the map. You've got to get him safely to one of those extraction points. And uh, if you do that, uh, you win. Um, the other way you can win is by eliminating all of the enemy players. Uh, the enemy who are trying to stop you, um, they can uh, they basically win by um, eliminating the VIP so they don't have to eliminate all of your teammates um, all they have to do is eliminate the VIP um, so in this case that meant I had to be basically when I, if, if I play VIP that means I have to play ultra cautious um, one of the reasons for it is the pistol you see in my hand the silence pistol that's all you have um, that's your that's your weapon so uh, you know that you are not going to be engaging in long-range firefights or anything like that you know you're not going to be charging around a corner uh hoping to get the drop on someone because you know literally you, all you got is a pistol if they got a semi-automatic or an automatic weapon you are in all sorts of trouble um so you really have to watch your corners and the best tactic the best tactic bar none is to stay with your teammates let them do the heavy lifting and by that mean let them get engaged in all the heavy uh, the firefights the the, the long-range shootouts let them take as many of the enemy out as as they can and you just focus on um, watching your back um, watching those corners uh, helping your teammates by watching their back if you can and uh, just uh, keeping your head down and uh, keeping up with your teammates um, as you can probably see from this video uh, or as you will see in this video I'm going to ignore all of those rules more or less um, the main one I'm going to ignore is staying with my teammates um, now the reason for that was <laughs> when we were playing this uh, playing this round, we went down the right hand side to trying to get to one of the extraction points. And when we went down that right hand side, uh, I saw that two or three of my teammates um, uh, were taken out very very quickly and very easily. Um, you know, when you get two or three taken out in quick succession like that, that it means either you've got one or two snipers in a very good position, uh, or um, you know, they, they just have not seen this guy whoever it is he's got a really good position he's using a lot of cover and they're just not they're not able to spot him and they're just in they're just basically walking into his sight so um my my thinking there was you know what well, I, I can't do it I, i've only got this pistol this science pistol in my hand there's no way i'm going to follow them around there um so i just bugged out a little bit i just backed out a bit and uh i decided right i'm going to try the left hand side because you know if they were taken out so quickly on the right hand side you know there's got to be a lot of them on the right hand side or at the very least they should have hopefully dealt with a lot of them on the right hand side they've hopefully all pushed that side which leaves this left side just for me to deal with um it, you know there seem to be also a few less open spaces around here there's more buildings you know with this weapon i've got you know that's that's my best my best hope so i was like right that's it i'm going left hand side i've got to try and use 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 the cover as much cover as i can i don't want to be running through open spaces or anything like that so that was my thinking and as you can see um on the screen right now at the top of my screen i've got a warning i'm the last man standing that basically means all of my team have been taken out i am i'm the very last person standing the vip all i've got is this silence pistol in my hand and uh I tell you what, I, this is this is probably the most boring bit of gameplay you're ever going to see, the most most boring bit of YouTube video you'll ever watch. Because I don't engage in a firefight, I don't don't run into anyone. Um, but oh god, I was nervous as hell at this point. Because the other thing is, I know everyone's watching me. Everyone on my team who's 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 who died, they're all sitting there watching me, and uh, I'm just praying I don't do something stupid. Um, luckily, I was able to get to the extraction point, but. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, re I wouldn't say that that's a prime example or the best way of playing VIP by a long shot. It's, it's definitely not. Um, so we went on to another round, and um, luckily this time I wasn't VIP, but I, I did have another bit of bad luck um, for some unknown, bizarre reason that only a few people on this planet and God Himself could answer. Um, I ended up uh, picking sniper. I have no idea why. I'm by far uh, by far and away nowhere near the be uh, a decent sniper there you know there's, there's probably um 
monkeys who are learning to use tools for the first time who are probably a better sniper than me. Um, I, I am not the best sniper. Uh, I don't think it's a forte. Um, and so I, why I started playing, why I was playing this class, I have no idea. But um, I'm not really going to be talking about sniping right now, although um, it will crop up. Um, I think one of the reasons I ended up with sniper was because maybe I had been playing it before, and uh, due to a recent change in the class, how, how you select your classes or your loadout or whatever you want to call it, um, it's a little bit more longer, a little bit more convoluted, which means um, I didn't have enough time to change it. Um, that's all been done because it looks like the full release of Insurgency is not too far away. Now, I've been told the 22nd of January is uh, is the date. It's due for full release. Um, if that's the case, then I have uh, you know just over a week uh, when I'm recording this. I'm recording this on the 14th, so I've just got over a week now to wait for this um, to this for this title to to come out on full release. And and I have to say, I am very very excited for it. It's, it's an absolutely fantastic change of pace. You know, like it doesn't matter what other titles you're playing at the moment. Like if you're playing any of the normal regular AAA titles, like Battlefield, COD, wh whatever it is, you know that. That the gameplay style uh, in a lot of those cases is very very similar you know there's a lot of run and gun there's a uh, not huge amount of teamwork um uh, the weapon choices more or less pick themselves because there's always some weapon in there that's overpowered uh generally you'll find a lot of a lot of the same classes running around on the map um this this game is so different from that you know you, you don't have you have limited amount of uh, classes per uh, side so you know you can only have a maximum of two snipers per side uh, and that's it so if even if you're on a sniper friendly map you can only have two of them you got a certain amount of uh, riflemen or assaulters um, a certain amount of demolition guys uh, specialists all that sort of stuff you know all the classes it's absolutely fantastic it means gameplay is really varied and you have to learn to play in so many different ways in this game and uh, that's, that's a challenge that not many other titles uh, nowadays give you uh the other nice thing that's happening is they they what i have noticed um because i've only just uh picked this up again for a while after a while and it because it's coming so close to release it looks like uh they've done some nice polishing on this so uh the audio for one there's some nice little bits of audio if you're playing uh, uh either the security or the insurgency you know you'll see some nice bits of audio now uh, there's a lot of uh, little bit of banter that goes on, or a little bit of chat that wasn't there before, and uh, the, the the video or the graphics, some of the some of the changes I made. Well, well, I've noticed them just now. Well, whether they were there before or not, maybe they were, but um, I, I noticed them a little bit more now. So, for example, when especially when you're sniping, if you're sniping at range on certain maps, you'll see like uh, clouds of snow or or dust cloud move across your scope, which you know really balances it because sniper rifles are a one shot kill uh, they don't need to be a headshot you know upper body definitely that'll give you a one shot kill and and on certain maps that can be that can feel like jesus like you know that's that's just unfair but you know there is there is that clouds of smoke or or snow or sand moving across which doesn't provide you with a bit of cover so it does make sniping a little bit more difficult um there's uh you know this the scope the scope sway um regardless of especially when you go to range you know even if you even if you zoom in a little bit which is supposed to steady your scope a little bit for you um the further away you are the more that, that you know the more prominent the more you'll feel that scope sway and there's no way of steadying that so that's a nice little nice little touch to help try and balance things out for so snipers just don't sit back and and have easy pickings you know you still got to have a little bit of skill uh, if you're going to sit back, but ideally you want to be coming into that sort of mid-range, uh, you know, where you know a scope sway isn't so much of an issue, and you know just just a chest shot, that person's down. It's very easy, um, and I think you should see something like that in a second. Uh, just when I go up these stairs, you know, and this is another thing. This this footage here, you know, it might be slow, it might be it seem might seem very slow and methodical, but that's what. That's what this gameplay is all about, and that's why it's such a really such a lovely change of pace from anything that's out there at the moment. You know, this is this is much more thoughtful, much slower. You, you have to watch all your corners. It feels like you know every little corner you got to watch. And if you die in this game, in in this game, in this title particularly, I think if you die, it's generally ninety nine point nine times out of a hundred, it's going to be big B because you've done something stupid. 
you haven't watched your corner, you've rushed round, you've been charging round, you've given away your position with heavy footsteps, whatever the case is, you know, you've not used cover. Um, there's so much stuff that, you know, in this game will punish you like no other title. And, and to be honest, I can't play this title at the moment for too long because it requires so much concentration that I just... I don't have that level of concentration. After after a few rounds, I, I actually feel mentally exhausted. And I just want to. Uh, I just need a break. Um, so I am by far and away um, nowhere near the best player you're likely to see in this game. I've, I, you know, I've played against plenty of players who are much better. Um, but what I do enjoy about the title is so far the community is really welcoming. Whether you're uh, a noob or not, or if you've played the title for ages or not, you know people uh, are really welcoming generally. Um, as I said before, friendly fire is constantly on, and a lot of times, you know, if if you're in if you're in game, you just uh, if you accidentally kill one of your teammates, you just instantly you know apologise or something. You know, there's there's none of this um, none of this uh, nastiness or anything like that. There's, there's, there's no no one no one slagging you off or anything like that. If people were just you know will generally accept that you know it was it's a genuine mistake. You know, as long as you're not doing it every round all the time. Um, they'll cut you some slack. Um, all in all, I have to say I am thoroughly excited by the uh, by the full release. As I said, 22nd of uh, January. Hopefully, keep an eye out for it. Um, if you'd like, uh, if you'd like uh, a change of pace, uh, you want to try something different, I highly recommend this title. Uh, but for now, that's me. I'm done. I'm out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Till next time, I will catch you later. Cheers.